The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I remember one time that I was very, very sabrach and I was very upset about something that happened in school, in college at that time, yeshiva, but something happened and I was very, very upset. And you remember there used to be a thing called a pay, a pay booth, a phone booth, a pay, a pay phone, right? So in the lobby there of YU, and first there was a, there were a couple of phones. And I went to call my father. My father, Zechon Levrach, had a dry cleaning business on Third Avenue in Manhattan. And I called my, I called my father. My father generally didn't like to answer phones. He didn't like phones. My mother used to go with him many days also to work. She should be healthy and well with and so on. So my mother answered the phone. Can I, speak, can I speak to daddy for a second? So my mother says, it's, can you call back? It's very busy. I said, just for a second, Ma. I have, to, I have to talk to daddy for a second. So my father gets on the phone and he says, Ma, is everything okay? And he said, well, dad, you know, and I start to tell him a little bit what it was. And he said, hold on, hold on for a second. So for like a minute or two, it was quiet. Then my father gets back on the phone. And we spoke for around 45 minutes. And it helped me a lot to get through that chayshech. Then afterwards, that night, my mother gave me a little bit of a mishabayruch. What are you calling at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? The store was filled with people. My mother said, you know, you know what daddy did? I said, what did daddy do? Daddy just asked everybody to please leave. And he locked the door of the store. And he went to the back. And I went to apologize to my father. And I said, daddy, I... I didn't mean, I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the store was busy. My father looked at me and he said, what do you think the whole tachlis is of why I go to work? And that was the end of the conversation. I live for you. He named me, I'm here for you. So. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.